okay? So we're going to talk about some prenatal screenings and diagnostic tests for women who are pregnant. So what is a screening and how is it different from a diagnostic test? Screening is basically telling you if there's a possibility that your baby has a birth defect and it's um, most times non-invasive, for example an ultrasound or a blood test. A diagnostic would confirm whether your baby has a um, chromosomal disorder or not and it's pretty invasive. Two examples I'm going to list are um, amnocentesis and CVS, which is chronic velus sampling. So we'll talk the amnocentesis first. That one is done from 12 to 16 weeks of pregnancy and a test for um, chromosomal and metabolic disorders. Basically, um, you take a syringe and get into the um, amniotic fluids take it out and you test for, you know, chromosomal disorder of the baby. And that one has a slight risk of miscarriages, rate of about 1 in 200 or 300 women. The other invasive diagnostic test is called chronic velus sampling, which is basically taking a little piece of placenta and test that for disorders. That one doesn't take as long, um, takes about 10 days to do and usually done around when your baby, your pregnancy, 8 to 11 weeks. But um, that one has a higher risk of miscarriage than amniocentesis and um, in some limb deformities too for some of the women who have tested with this. And the screening that you could do, which everybody does, is ultrasound using frequency waves and getting back an image. This is also paired with an amniocentesis, so they can see where the syringe goes into the um, amniotic fluid or not. So definitely be um, careful when you're doing these screenings and tests. And that's it.